Thanks so much for that live report there. And joining me live now from Atlanta via Zoom are Carly's parents, Carlos and Talitha Russell. Mr. and Mrs. Russell, thanks so much for making the effort to speak with us here tonight. Uh, you say that you're in Atlanta. Has there been a tip or information that has come in that your daughter could possibly be in the Atlanta area? Yes, we received a tip, but we had already planned to search the Georgia area. The tip turned out not to be a viable tip. Nonetheless, we had planned to visit um, and search the Georgia area anyway, so it was not a waste of our time. We put out flyers, searched um, the areas, different areas, exits. We had, um, we probably covered at least 20 exits. Um, and so we got a decent amount of ground covered. Uh, police say that they are looking at all possibilities all theories here. Do you believe someone has taken your daughter against her will? Um, I'm not sure why they're looking at all possibilities. It's very clear she was abducted from um, the phone call that she last had with one of our relatives, and they heard her scream. The 911 call that she made um, to the Hoover Police Department stating that there was a small child on the side of the road and the evidence that was left behind, um, we are 99% sure that she was um, abducted. And we felt that way from the from beginning. From the beginning. Okay, yeah. Can, can you, let's talk about the, the details from that, uh, from what happened to her uh, last night. It is believed that she re she was reported missing after she vanished after reporting a child walking on I-459. Police say there are no reports of someone missing a child from the area. What are your thoughts on that particular detail of this child on the side of the interstate? Could that child have been a decoy to lure someone like your daughter out of her car? Or do you believe it was a legitimate yeah. child who was who was just out there walking? No, we do. We believed from the very, um, from the very beginning that that was a decoy. We've heard of those decoys, and we've actually um, told our daughter, "Don't fall for those decoys." She did, um, but she's a very passionate person. She's a caring person, and she told the family member that she could not leave a little child that appeared to be three or four years old just on the interstate. Mm -hmm. She was advised to. Just call 911, which she did. 911 asked. No, it walked. Our daughter Carly got out the car, apparently, and asked the child, Were they okay? Were they okay? Um, the family member heard her on the phone, and then they heard a scream. So it's very obvious. Um, she left her car running, she left her car door open. That means she was planning to go back and get in her car and come home safely. We had a little issue there with your Zoom, uh, but I, hopefully we can hang here for just a second more. Uh, I think this is important. What is your message to your daughter and her potential abductor if they are watching this, if they see this interview tonight? Our message is that we are trusting God, Carly. I know you are scared, and I know you are just, praying to God because you do have faith and you hang on to that faith and your family and your friends, we're all hanging on to that faith. We're not letting any negative thoughts enter our heads. We're not going to let the enemy have the last word on this. We are trusting God that you are coming home safely. So you believe that no matter what. And we are praying that God will touch the heart and the mind of her abductor and change their heart and their mind and soften it and that they would just turn and hear the voice of God and let Carly there return home safely. Well, I know every parent, every grandparent, everybody just hearing that. We are, our, our thoughts and our prayers are with you. Thanks so much for your time tonight, and good luck with Thank your you. search efforts. Thank you. We are praying Thank for you. Thank you. Thank you. Here is another look at Carly Russell tonight. Police say she is 5'4 and weighs between 150 to 160 pounds. If you see her or know where she may be, call Crime Stoppers. Again, the parents believe that, well, the, her wig was actually found at the scene. So if you do see her, she could have cornrows in her hair. The number to call is 205 254 
7777. We will continue to follow this story throughout the weekend.